Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian angel, spirit. If you're coming back welcome back if you are new here welcome just so you're aware i do not read reversals so if a card comes out in the reverse i will flip it upright this is just how i've always read tarot just so you're aware so let's see spirit how does this person feel about taurus okay right away we have the king of wands so there's definitely someone here who is very physically attracted to you. We do have the Hierophant, um, someone who feels very passionately. This is, okay, this is someone who wants a connection here with you, wants a higher level of commitment here with you. Um, Taurus, I feel like they would, they feel very proud to be with you. There's like this energy of, you know, like, you know, if you're walking around together, they're like, yeah, like. Taurus is mine like they're they're really proud of that um, but I'm gonna pull on the six of wands because I'm kind of getting something else from that here but I just want to confirm it so there's Taurus energy here it could be a Taurus could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sag um, this is someone who comes off like very confident I feel like very charismatic this is someone who could be very flirtatious with you as well tell me about that six of wands the ace of pentacles the ten of swords yeah um taurus i feel like this is someone you've already had an ending with and they want a fresh start here this could have been someone who liked to get a lot of attention from others um i'm kind of getting like a bit of like a show-off energy here um they they like you taurus and i feel like again there's a they're just like this strong physical attraction to you but there's something about this person where they're like you know, me and Taurus look really good together. Like it's, we look good. Like other people probably think this about us. Like there's kind of like this ego attached to it a little bit here. Um, yeah, this is definitely someone who wants a fresh start after the ending here. Um, let's see about this ending, what happened here. So they, they want commitment here with you. They want higher level of commitment. Perhaps that was the issues that maybe they didn't before and that's why it ended. Um, but let's see, tell me about that Ten of Swords. Tell me about that Ten of Swords. They want a fresh start though. The Chariot, yeah, they wanna move past whatever ending has happened here. Uh, strength, Leo energy, so we have Leo and Cancer. Yeah, they, they, it's like this person might be holding back right now, but they wanna move past this. They don't see this as the end, is what I'm getting. They see this as a break. So Taurus, I feel like the ball's in your court, to be honest with you. This person wants commitment here with you. They want to be with you, but depending on what happened, maybe that's not going to happen. This person wants a fresh start here with you. They want to take things slow, um, but they do want to move forward here. I feel like they're kind of holding back. They're not really saying that. We're going to see their actions towards you and see if they say something about it. Um, but yeah, this is someone who wants a fresh start here. Tell me about that Ace of Pentacles. Just be aware though, Taurus, like I'm getting right away. I'm kind of annoyed with this energy because I feel like it's like a game to them. It's like, let's see, you know, how long I can go without talking to Taurus or what, what I can do to Taurus and then just offer them a fresh start and it happens. And it's almost like a game to them. It's like winning at all costs here. And like I said, I feel like their ego is like very much in the way here. This is someone who um, could be very good looking, but like knows they are and like it's like i'm getting like a bit of a show off 
a little bit here is what I'm getting with that King of Wands, Six of Wands energy. Um, it's not that they don't have feelings for you, but like it's, it's, that's not the biggest piece of the puzzle is what I'm getting. Like they're very based on looks. I'm getting, this could be someone who, um, like maybe they're in the gym a lot or like they take, like their looks are very important to them. Just be aware because this five of swords energy, like this is games, right? Like this is mind games. This is someone who, like I said, I feel like they, they want to offer a fresh start because they feel like they, they know they can, they can come back when they want. Yeah, I'm not liking that energy. Um, let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take? The Ace of Wands, yeah. Like, they want a new start here with you. They definitely want to hook up. I'll say that. Page of Cups, yeah. This is someone who's coming forward. Like, you might get an apology from this person, um, you know, for what I'm going to pull on this Page of Cups. But they're coming forward as a page, right? So even if it is an apology, I feel like it's, it doesn't match whatever happened. They, they see it as, okay, I said sorry, like that's it, right? So expect that, expect them to reach out, expect them to tell you like, you know, um, I care about you, but I feel like it just doesn't, what they're saying doesn't match up with what happened because the Ten of Swords is a very painful energy. It feels like a betrayal, right? It feels like you got stabbed in the back, it feels like, you know, there's a lot of pain there. And so when this person comes back, it's like, okay, I'm sorry, like that doesn't really fix it, right? So, but... They definitely want to connect physically here. I'll tell you that for sure. Um, tell me about that page of cups. They could be younger than you. Yeah, look, very clear. They want another chance. Very clear message here. This is the card of second chances here, Taurus. So someone who might have been younger than you or just immature, someone who's kind of very much into their looks, um, a little bit egotistical here I'm getting. They, they like to play mind games, I feel. Um, there's like a push-pull energy. They, they're coming back for another chance here. Very, very clear. So here's the thing, Taurus, like I don't choose which energy comes through, right? It's the strongest one that decides to come through from spirit. So it's almost like a heads up, right? Because if you were hoping to hear from this person, um, of course, but just so you know, it feels like they're playing games. It feels like they know they can come back whenever they want to come back. We're going to see their intentions as well but yeah this person wants another chance here and this doesn't have to be a second chance it's gonna be a third or fourth or fifth chance right and that's what i'm saying i feel like if it is especially that it's coming underneath this five of swords it's almost like this person feels like they have endless chances and it's up to you to decide if that's the case or not um they're definitely going to reach out though here and maybe maybe you will connect physically, right? There'll be a lot of flirtatious energy. There'll be that passion, that connection. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like this person looks at it like, oh, that's all I have to do and everything's all good now. So just be aware of that, Taurus. Um, what is this person's intentions? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very clear here, Taurus. Ay, ay, ay. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like this person likes to play games with you. I feel like they're also like obsessed a little bit here. This is someone who feels like they can come and go when they please. I won't be surprised if the Knight of Wands comes out. Tell me more about their intentions. This person has trouble with their emotions too. They could be manipulative with, their emo with your emotions. This could be someone who says and does all the right things that makes you feel like they're on the same page like they're like I said there I do feel like this person does have feelings for you but when it comes to you know how important that is for them in the connection that's not as I feel like it's more like me and Taurus look really good together or you know it's nice to have someone who always answers the phone or always gets back to me or what have you like yes the feelings are there but I feel like this person's not tapped into them the same way you are here, Taurus. I feel like this person is manipulative with emotions. And I feel like they know that you're a very caring, giving, empathetic person. And they, they, they know this. So they try to play on that. Yeah, I think your intuition already knows this though, Taurus. Anything else for their intentions? Two of Cups. They want to get back together. They want union here. King of Pentacles. So this is someone who might even tell you, you know, yeah, like I'm going to be different here. Like I'm going to, I'm going to give more here. Um, you know, 
I'll, I'll be more grounded here. They could even like, you know, buy, a, like spend a lot of money. But I feel like it's all part of like manipulation here. Tell me about this devil. The sun, Leo energy. Tell me more. You said something to this person, Taurus, that, yeah, that, that made them realize that they're like this. This could be like a narcissistic individual who, I, like I said, is like manipulative um, and does things to like, get, like guilt tripping is what I'm getting. You've, you've brought this to light here. It's like this person wants to heal that about them. They're aware of it. They be, they, they're very aware of what needs to happen here. We're going to see the potential outcome, but it's like it still feels like they're doing it. It still feels like they're playing games here. Anything else about that devil? So you have Capricorn, Leo, Aquarius energy here. Um, we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, a little bit of air. But see how there's like not a lot of emotion with this person? And I feel like when they get into emotions, it's like they're trying to manipulate. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be someone who just like takes forever. Like they want commitment with you. That's how they feel. But they take forever to give you something solid here. It's like, they, it's like a waiting game with this person. Tell me about the potential outcome. Tell me about the potential outcome. This person's obsessed with you, though. They're not going to leave you alone. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. They're not going to leave you alone. We have the Four of Wands and the Six of Swords. This person, they're not going to stop. They, they, they want this here with you. They want success here with you. They want to get to a good place here with you. And maybe the two of you can get to a good place. Maybe that means just agreeing to be friends. Or maybe that means trying again. Right? Of course, everyone's situation is different. Um, but it just feels like this person is not going to give up here. Like they're going to, and maybe that's exactly what you needed them to do in the first place. You needed them to step up. Um, and so they are, but I also just feel like this, this emotional manipulation, I feel like it's something they're aware of and they do want to heal, but it's still going on. So just be aware of that. Tell me about that emperor. The emperor is very stubborn, right? It's the divine masculine energy. Yeah, it's it's a divine masculine energy who takes action, is a leader, but can be very stubborn. It's clarified by this five of wands. So it's like this person wants to do things their way or no way. You are getting four, five, six here as well. So things are happening exactly as they're supposed to. But I feel like there's a lot of fighting with this person. I feel like there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of drama because I feel like they want to do things how they want to do things. There's like a control thing here uh yeah so maybe for a little bit it works maybe not um anything else there's that ace of pentacles again so this person i'm telling you they could offer like gifts they could try and like you know spend money or something like that but either way like they want a fresh start here with you but it doesn't feel fresh because it feels like it's the same thing that happened before with this person This could even be new. Let me just pull on this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. This could even be like something new if you do choose to walk away. Yeah, if you, you got to set boundaries with this person, I feel. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like this connection could work if there are firm boundaries in place because this person doesn't know about boundaries. I feel like they just create their own in their mind and then that's it. Like I said, very stubborn energy here. Um, so this could work if you want it to, but I feel like you have to stand in this Queen of Swords energy of like, no bullshit. No, you're not going to tell me how things are going to go. This is how it's going to go because I need my needs met as well. And again, just be aware, there's not a lot of cups on the board. There's not a lot of like emotional fulfillment here. I feel like, you know, it could be important to ask yourself, like, what is this based off of? right? Maybe this person does like buy a lot of gifts and like spends a lot of money in that way. And there's a lot of passion between the two of you. But is there like that deep emotional fulfillment? I feel like they have feelings for you and they want to get together here with you. I mean, with the two of cups and the devil, this could also be like a karmic soulmate, right? Either way, this person wants union here with you. Um, but you get to decide like what works for you here, Taurus. You're in the driver's seat. Even, when, even though this person very much comes off like they're the, in the driver's seat, like it's their way or no way, you get to choose. How will Taurus know who this is? Seven of Wands. Could have been someone you blocked or blocked you. Um, someone who gets defensive. Page of Wands. 
someone who could be younger than you, who's very flirtatious, I feel. Um, I feel like has a lot to learn. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Ace of Swords, someone who wants to talk, someone who wants to have a conversation. Tell me about that Ace of Swords. Page of Pentacles, all these pages coming out. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like this person comes off like they're this king of wands, like they're super confident, they got everything going on, like they're, you know, but all these pages coming through, Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, it's like this person has so much to learn. And it could be an age thing, but I also just feel like even though this person has so much to learn, they, they, they're so stubborn with that emperor energy. So someone who's going to come forward and say, you know, I, I, want to, I want to do this with you. I want this new chance here with you. You know, I don't want us to block each other. I don't want us to be in this energy. But they're coming forward as a page. Like I, like I said, I feel like what they're offering you doesn't, doesn't match what happened. This person could have a hard time taking accountability as well. I also feel like for those of you who are looking like new, new, I feel like something new will come to you um, as soon as you start focusing just on your work here. This could even be like a work opportunity. Some, something comes towards you here that just feels like exactly what you've been waiting for, a new opportunity here to kind of throw yourself into. Um, I don't often get career messages, but that's coming through pretty strong there. Anything else about that Ace of Pentacles? the empress yeah know your worth here know your worth here yeah because you're very very valuable especially in your work is what i'm getting um but if it's with this person set those boundaries because you are this empress energy right the the emperor is coming through there right so i mean in a way, this is the, the, there's a big match here. There's a divine match here. But this person just feels manipulative. This could be a karmic soulmate, though, with that devil and that two of cups coming out. Someone that you're definitely meant to meet. You're definitely meant to have this person in your life. But it's, it's for a deeper soul lesson here, right? Don't forget your worth here, Taurus. That's your energy. Any advice for Taurus? Any advice? Three of Swords. Don't forget the pain because I feel like this person is really good at coming in and making you forget about what happened. They're very charming, very charismatic here. I feel like um, there could be this energy of feeling like, am I going to miss out? You're getting two, three, four now as well. So you had four, five, six, now two, three, four. Um, you know, will I miss out if I don't take this chance with this person? I mean, just remember what happened because I feel like there was a lot of pain here. That could have been a third party situation. Tell me about that three of swords. Yeah, if you're you're healing from this, just remember that, right? Because look at this is the exact same energy that came out for the devil card for their intentions, the sun and the star. So if you're healing from this exact situation, this exact person, just remember that, right? Because oftentimes what happens is that this could be twin flame even. When we disconnect from that energy who we were so adamant on being with, as soon as we start to disconnect, that's when they come back. That's when they're like, oh, I want this, I want this next chance with you. I, I want to try this again. As soon as like you're doing good, as soon as you're seeing this, seeing the light, as soon as you're healing, as soon as you're feeling good about yourself, right? And I feel like that's this is exactly what you've been healing from is this this devil energy here. So just be aware of that strong energy. Let's see messages for Taurus right away. Lobster financial pinch. So. That could be you or this person. That could be the reason why it's difficult to leave, right? If this person does offer stability in some way with that King of Pentacles. We have Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And we have Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated, right? So there could be this feeling of like you have to be with this person in some way, especially if you're like married or have assets together or something like that. If they you know make more of the money or, or something like that but i feel like this person 
there's a lot to, I mean, we all have a lot to learn, but this person, the way they come forward based and based on what happened, doesn't, it doesn't match is all, is what I'm getting. Messages for Taurus. I left when I saw you with someone. So that could have been you, could have been them. My life is not as together as it seems. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this person comes off super confident and assured of themselves, but that's not the case. I cannot give you what you want or deserve. I'm sorry. And that makes a lot of sense because I feel like what's coming through to me with this emperor energy is like the stubbornness, the control of the situation. You are this empress, whether you're male or female, and this person's coming forward as a page. It's like it's not even on the same vibrational level. You know, and this person knows they can't give you what you want or deserve. It's time for me to heal now. Again, that could be both of you even. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So, I mean, that could even be you here, Taurus, being like, I learned so much from this person, especially with that star energy, that sun energy. It's like, remember how much you've learned and how much you've gained as well. We have, I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. Honestly, I feel like that could be both of you. I am keeping secrets from you and I hope you don't find out. I will pull a card on that. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, this person, like I said, there's manipulation here. There's a big hole in my heart that I cannot fill on my own. I am embarrassed by my actions and disgusted with myself. I don't understand what you see in me. I don't feel attractive. So even though this person, like I said, they come off like very, very sure of themselves, very confident, very, you know, I look great. I smell great. People love me. Like on the inside, I feel like they're very insecure and they play games. I regret lying to you. And I want to feel that way again. This person's missing your energy. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Let's see. Tell me about this. I'm keeping secrets from you. I said go to the other deck, so I will. What is this? I'm keeping secrets. Right away. The Queen of Wands. Yeah. So there could be something, some sort of physical connection that they have going on right now. Um, maybe it's just flirting either way I feel like there is a strong physical attraction between them and this person and they're not telling you about it seven of pentacles the hermit this person could have even ghosted you they could have like or they could have ghosted this person. They could have told someone else, okay, I, yeah, I want to invest in you, what have you. And there was like a lot of, there was a big connection there. And then they ghosted that person. They didn't, and they just never told you about it. It could be vice versa, right? Um, either way, this person doesn't take accountability. I feel like they just run from the situation here. It feels like they're trying to plant seeds in, in multiple situations. Like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have this with Taurus, but like, let me like keep this alive over here too, just in case. Let me keep this alive over here just in case. And I feel like it's like a very, again, I feel like this person is very, um, like it's about looks. It's about, uh, like it's like ego-based is how it feels. Yeah. Anything else about that Queen of Wands? The Ace of Swords, they might, they might tell you. <laughs> it says, I hope you don't find out, but I mean, there might be some sort of truth revealed here about this situation that they're, the secret that they're keeping. Ay, 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 Taurus, sending you lots of love and light. Uh, messages for Taurus, thank you. We have Stargazer, set your sights higher. So again, like as soon as I'm reading that, it's like, if this person is giving you bare minimum or you know only checking some of your boxes like you you are that empress energy taurus don't forget it like you, you can have all the standards all the boundaries in the world and the right person will meet them and respect them we have hermit retreat and recharge so take that time for yourself as well this person ghosted you take that as an opportunity to be like thank you 
let me go work on myself now right of course there's pain there but like I feel like this person just runs from responsibility we have shapeshifter transform and unveil your gifts so I feel like there's something career-wise going on for you Taurus where there's going to be some sort of new opportunity you're presented where you can really shine you can really um yeah yeah and look at that we got opportunity yeah there's something to do with career here and i feel like it's going to be very abundant for you so if it's something that say you've been in a career for a certain amount of time excuse me and you're, you've been kind of having these feelings of maybe i could start this side hustle or i'm very passionate about i don't know tarot or cooking or painting or something that you're you feel very passionately about but could be like more of like a side thing i feel like there's going to be some sort of opportunity where you can actually maybe it'll be a side thing but it won't pay like a side thing i feel like it'll pay off very well actually we have ask your angels so talk to your angels and your guides just like you would a friend ask them for guidance ask them for signs ask them for what to do next and then we have if you believe yeah so remember keep your faith strong okay let's see messages for taurus we have a fiery climax approaches. I have a feeling it's with this person here with that truth coming out as well. Um, but it could be with work. And then we have your hard work is paying off. Capricorn energy. I'm telling you, yeah, Taurus, keep doing what you're doing. Don't lose sight of that because it's going to pay off here. Messages for Taurus. Please spirit. Okay. Wow, we got three. So we have deep knowing, number 43. We have not for you, number six. And we have imagine, number 20. And this card always, I always say, like it's a chessboard, someone playing games, that little fortune cookie says nope, right? Um, but I'm gonna read all of these here for you, Taurus. Oh, where's my book? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> I'm gonna read not for you first, just cause it's really standing out to me. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning, but the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being protected by the divine. Thank you, spirit. I said that earlier. Yeah, like, did I say that earlier? I hope I said it out loud because I was definitely thinking it. Um, if you are the one who must reject another, remember that you do so for both your sakes. For every pot, there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. Okay, so very clear message there. Let's read number 43 as well. I don't think I've gotten three cards like this in a while. You are in empathy overload and need to get grounded again. So tune out for a bit. There's that recharge message again. Hypersensitive, you're suffering from psychic exhaustion. This signals a time for recharging your batteries. Set energetic boundaries, take a salt bath, empty your mind, and get back to you. It's not a time to be too open. Soon enough, you can let your guard down. Right now, you need self-care and self-love. It's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. Won't that feel good? So, multiple cards here of just, you know, if someone exhausts you, it, some, some relationships aren't meant to last, right? Like, I believe we have multiple soulmates and they can be in our life for a short time or a long time. They always teach us deep, valuable lessons though. Um, so Spirit has like a pretty straightforward message for you there. And then uh, we have Imagine. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating, so step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. I feel like that's that new that could be coming in here, Taurus. Um, let me just pull on that and see if anything comes out. Tell me about this imagine because I feel like um, these other two cards are very clearly about this first energy here. <clears throat> I feel like what's, yeah, Ten of Wands. I feel like there's a lot of passion between you and this person. 
I feel like there are attributes that you enjoy about this person, but I feel like it's heavy. I feel like it's stressful. I feel like it doesn't, you know, it, it feels like it could just be based on the physical, like I was saying, because they're coming forward with that. Hmm. All right, let's go here, Taurus. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, take it as it resonates, but if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have L, O, V, F, K, U, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Taurus. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.